to me. Some folk won't let go of this, and they've got nothing better to do than to poke their noses into other people's business. There's nothing you can do about it, son. I'm doing a good job. I'm working hard. I swear, Mrs. Graves thinks I'll start nicking stuff if she turns her back for a second. This is all right. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, well, she's not exactly honest with her husband about what she gets up to. None of that. You're angry about people judging you. Don't be so fast to judge others. I'm sorry, Frank. Keep your gob shut, your nose clean, and your head down. Do you think you can manage that? Gob, nose, head. Can you see the observatory from there? That's over the ridge, just past the windmill. Ah. Uh. You want to live near the station in case you need a quick getaway? Something like that. <laughs> so you and Steven, I'm sensing there's not a lot of love lost there, huh? That's between him, me, and the caves. You're gonna have to explain that one for me. It's nobody else's business. Look, you seem all right to me. You don't want to worry about that lot in the village. Provided I'm left alone, I'm happy. Steven's the one who likes to be at the center of things. <laughs> no change there, then. <laughs> Francis Appleton. You are a bad man. No wonder your sister won't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> You could see how the light was following the cellular structure of its wings. The neural simplicity of the insect seems to prevent a full-blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stephen's wrong. This isn't an attack. It's a byproduct of the attempt to communicate. It's getting smarter. It's learning as it adapts. I'm confident of a breakthrough soon.
Breaker, Breaker 9, call in on 9. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? Breaker 1-9. Breaker travel in Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. My, my Hello? Family, my my wife and kids. You yeah, know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant. My own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture me about no. sacrifice, you, you spineless stupid, of a shit! Stupid bastard! If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. It just seems a bit odd, that's all. She's just over the hill. Why can't we go and collect her? You heard the radio. Try to minimize contact with different groups of people. It might be spreading that way. Besides, Father Jeremy told me that Lizzie Graves said they're all fine. They're still planning on putting on their show. So how does Father Jeremy know what's going on at the camp if we're all supposed to be staying at home? <sighs> a, a special dispensation for the clergy or something. I'm sure Rachel will be all right. She seems to live at the camp these days anyway. She's 16, Sam. It's gonna happen. I was pregnant when I was 17. Yeah, well, that's why I'm worried about what Rachel gets up to. Come on, give me that other case. We'll still be here at midnight if we don't get a bloody move on. Can't understand why the car wouldn't start. I'll have to get someone out to take a look at it. years as a semi-professional, yes, I suppose you could call it that. Well, we run a club here, a mix of hobby stargazers and more serious scientists. They sometimes let us use the observatory telescopes, but normally it's just a, a back garden sort of thing. Well, no, that's the thing. It's not like you need the Jodrell Bank to see it. There's just too many of them. Of course I'm serious. Go outside and count them. It's Orion, for God's sake. It's not difficult to find. Well, you tell me how many bloody stars are supposed to be on the belt, then.
you knew? Wade called me in about six weeks after, once he thought I could cope with knowing. Can it ever... Come back to church. Back to the community. You're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend other... I hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. <sighs> there has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. So, he managed to get the transfer to the observatory, then? Well, this Catherine woman must have swung it. Now he says they're getting married before they come back. It's typical. Why can't he just wait till he's home? Are you gonna go? Goodness, no. It'll be full of her people. I expect they do things differently. You wanna come in for a cup of tea? Oh, I don't think so. For Christ's sake, woman, it's been eight months. Won't you just come in and talk? Oh, you didn't want to talk when Mary was still alive. You and Charlie Tate out drowning your sorrows when you should have been at home nursing your wife. You can be a nasty old bird, Wendy Boyles. Frank Appleton, you come back here and say that again. Our mother always said you were a bad egg. You'll come a cropper, you mark my words. <laughs>
How's your sister, Frank? We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I did rather wonder if you might do me a bit of a favor and check in on her, see if she's all right. Dr. Wade, if they drop the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. <laughs> it's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night. Now it appears Mrs. Boughton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches. The council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. Oh, and Frank, call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn. Bloody England. You can't just stop the train, stop people travelling about the place. I don't like it, Frank. I don't like it at all. Well, nobody liked it. No sense sweating cobs over it. Folk all riled about it, giving me grief. I didn't stop the bloody trains, did I? And did they give me any warning? No, they bloody didn't. Yesterday, it's all like, keep them calm, Howard, minor disruptions. And today, it's all government edicts and not until further notice. And you'll manage. Half the village has vanished. It's a couple of people. It's hardly half the village. Oh, right now. You forget, I've seen things. I was in the Falklands. I tell you, I got out the old air raid siren to test it this morning. Air raid siren? What on earth are you gonna do with one of those? I found it in the station storeroom. Took it home, stuck it under the bed. Thought it might be worth something one day. Oh, damn it! It's all right, it's just a nosebleed. Here, use my Yankee, it's clean. Oh, thanks, Frank, thanks. Been getting like a bloody drain all day. The power spiked with the last discharge and then went out again, and I could see the aurora dancing around Tower 6. At the same time, the headache intensified, and I think I began to hallucinate. Old and new memories are clashing and tumbling around me. 
like we're on the cusp of a breakthrough. I can feel it. How best, Graham? Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12-foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless, no. Can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese? Hi, Frank. Fetch Graham the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Hi! I want to work with you! Jeez! What the bloody hell were you doing? What are you up to? Get out of my way. This is important. You've been with Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock your bloody block off. I so... need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Where's Kate? Set up at the tower for all I know. I could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way. Never mentioned anything about them sickening yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back and they were fine. I woke up this morning and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all round the reeking. And Dr. Wade reckons there's sick folk all over the village. Max said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. Set the quarantine in the whole valley. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. 
It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening. I don't know what happened. It just died on me. Give it another go. Oh, I only just put petrol in it as well. Robert's taken the other car into town. I wish he'd get back. He promised me that he'd be back this morning. You think he's off on another bender? Oh, I can't police him all the time, Frank. He's not a child. What's going on, Lizzie? Nothing. You're seeing Stephen again, aren't you? You two can't keep pithering on like this. If Robert hasn't already worked it out, he soon will. Oh, not if he carries on drinking the way he is. Shit. Pardon my French, but bloody shit thing. Why won't it start? Come on, I'll give you a lift. Got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. I wonder if I could boost the reception by using multiple towers. Sake, stop! Keep back, you bastard. I know what you've done. Where's Lizzie? Where is she? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. You hate me, I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley, it's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it! Jesus! You take one step closer, I'll bash your bloody skull in, I swear to God! All right, all right. I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's still time. Please, Frank, for her, not me. If you're that bloody caring, you can save her yourself. Don't you get it? I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead.
My name is Frank Jacob Appleton. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right. And by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse.